What's up, people of the internet? This is Megasan Piggy here, back with more Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire versions, the remakes of third gens, uh, new snapshots of the day. I think they just came out today, actually. So let's start. Today, okay, here uh, we have this guy, whoever he is. Uh, I guess he's a new character for Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So that leads me to the conclusion that they're adding like new characters along with new Mega Evolutions, obviously. But um, new characters that we're not going to see, they haven't seen in um, the actual third gen, and like who have maybe some new s stuff. Yeah, maybe some new stuff. He'll probably. I don't know who this guy is, but uh. He'll probably be a rival or a gym leader or something. From the looks of it, maybe. Because uh, these snapshots are all in like Japanese and stuff. They're not in, like English. Mm, yeah, he has a red fedora. I like fedoras and has a red jacket. He looks awesome. I like his design and. His large K on eyebrows. Anyways, this is him in uh his uh battle when we uh battle. So I'm guess he is a gym leader, I guess. Well maybe not, maybe some rival. Maybe definitely not a gym leader. I made this mistake. He's definitely not gonna be a gym leader. So that leads me to another conclusion that he's probably gonna be a rival or some trainer we're gonna just we're going to see a lot in the game. Maybe, maybe like a few times, like uh, the guy, I forgot his name, but it was the guy that was chasing the Suicune in 2nd Gen, in the 2nd Gen remakes. It was, yeah, he's probably going to be like that, but, you know, not chasing legendaries and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I wonder what Pokemon, he has one Pokemon as it looks in this picture, he has one Pokemon, so he, this is probably like the beginning of the game, or like the first time you battle him, something like that, around that, okay, this picture is, uh, the trainer in front of a tree, but not just any tree, I can't translate whatever that says, but, since it's up to a tree, and he is, uh, and there's text as, as long as that, it can lead to the obvious conclusion that, yes, there are secret bases coming back to Pokemon 3rd Gen, so yeah, uh, I flippin' loved um, making secret bases back in 3rd Gen, 3rd Gen was awesome with all the secret bases, That's, after I beat the game like a couple of times and trained Pokemon and beat the Battle Frontier and stuff like that, pretty much there was nothing to do but make secret bases, but there was pretty much nothing to do there, you just have secret bases, just everywhere, secret bases. And they have nothing to do in there because you just put stuff in there and there you go, secret base. <laughs> and then like, you'd be like, you know, uh, next picture anyways, uh, we have uh, the trainer inside one of his, uh, this person's own secret base. It looks pretty cool. Some of the stuff are back. I remember that table and, and uh, those Pikachu pads right there from the actual third gen games. But uh, new stuff like the bed and that lamp and flowers and a flipping slide, that's a uh, new. So I'm guessing you're gonna, gonna have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, a lot more stuff and like decorate it more. Hopefully, if like since this is like you know six gen and all and like Wi-Fi, I hope you do like share your. Um, your base, your base to other people, and like other people can visit your base. It would be fun instead of like, you know, boringness. Next picture we have is another base. This one is probably like at night. It looks pretty cool with those lights out in the side. And uh, if you see right there, the pokey flute from X and Y from the castle, where you get to wake up the Snorlax, is right there. It's wow. Why is that there? And uh, ooh, look at the posters in the background. We have the Viper, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Azuro, and Wingles. Those posters are pretty cool. Third genish. Uh, why did Azuro come out in a uh, third gen? She came out like when Meryl came out. But anyways, yeah, it's more of a second gen. Where is the second gen? Uh, I forgot. Anyways, 
this person decorated in a weird way. I see he had a pattern back there with the pots and the plants, but then he had like an ice thing over there. And there's a, a lava lamp on the side. So I'm guessing that's new. The, those lights over there. Anyways, a uh, new picture. So yeah, I guess you can have people going, but these aren't uh, actual trainers. They look like um, NPCs in the game. They look like regular trainers, but not like any trainers. Because there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So what do they do? I don't know. You can put a tent inside of a base. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, oh look, there's a globe. I'm guessing that's like the globe from... Looks like the same globe that's in like 4th um, gen and 5th gen games and like the Pokemon centers and the global trade station places that show where like people you traded with. So I'm guessing that's it right there or maybe not? I don't know. So I'm guessing yeah you could have people visit your... Well people from the game not people out of the game like other people. Like your friend or your mom or something like that. Anyways, next picture we have more people inside of your base. This is a weird way. This is is this a base or is it a gym? It looks like a gym, but then it also still looks like a base because there's the um the gym statue right. That ooh, I've just bumped my computer. Anyways. There's a uh, the gym statue right there, but then it looks like a base because the posters and stuff are there. So I guess this person so. Does this mean that you can make your base like a your own little gym thing? Like trainers can come in and like say, "Hey, let's uh, make a little gym out of this." Out of your, let's make a little base. So I'm guessing you can make your own little homemade uh, Pokemon gyms. That would be pretty cool. I mean, training wise, you can like like set the levels of the of the trainer there up to like level, let's say, seventy whatever next picture we have is the guy from the beginning of the video oh with the red fedora I'm guessing this is a place where you get uh, where you get the stuff for your uh, secret base super mega sexy base <laughs> whatever you would like to call it and uh, I don't know what he's saying because it's in Japanese and stuff like that and I I would like to learn how to read and speak Japanese one day because, you know, I'm a big anime person and sometimes it's kind of distracting to look at the subtitles, but hey, I do my best to watch it. Anyway, if I'm not talking about anime, kind of. I'm talking about Pokemon here, which is an anime, but it's also a game, so. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Uh, this is the guy, I guess. Yeah, he's going to be your secret base guy in whatever that town is called. And not pretty much to say. Next picture we have. Uh, these are actually the people that were in the base. I actually recognize them from the other pictures. They're people from your from the base that you were in. And so on um, people, they're gonna. I'm guessing they're gonna help you with your base. I don't know who they are. I guess they're some type of league of some sort because we're taking a picture. I guess it's a picture. Um, what's going? I don't know what's going on here. I, are you about to go out for war? Is this a uh, high school of the dead or something? <laughs> Pokemon of the dead. Anyways, so I'm just yeah, they're gonna help you with your super duper base of basiness. Uh, they look different from anyone from third gen except for the guy that's behind you. He looks like the rich boys, but that's pretty much it. And you have the map in the background. You have other stuff in the background. Super smart kid. Anyways, we have here your base. I'm get um from what it looks like, the people that's gonna help you with the base from the last picture I just showed, which in like reality is like 30 minutes away. But anyways, from the last picture I show, I guess if these people are gonna help you with like different type of settings. Like this girl right here is gonna help you with like cute stuff inside of your base, and like one person will help you with, like expensive stuff and another person will like have like awesome stuff and like tough stuff like stuff like that like normal stuff so yeah this girl will probably help you with like cute stuff instead of your uh and your base and stuff like that 
Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they all just sell the same thing at, for like different prices. They probably don't sell things at all. Maybe. They're just here to help you sort out what you want to put in there and like how you want to do it. But um, I guess that's all up to you. Anyways, here is a picture I got from Sir Rebby actually. And it shows that you can trade and share your uh, your secret bases with other people and there's like a QR code that you can download kind of like uh, trading your Mii's in Tomodachi life and it um up on the up on the upper uh, oh crap up on the upper left there it shows like which version you're playing and I guess that's your trainer down there kind of like in a like your trainer card in uh, Pokemon Black and White, it will show like what type of trainer you like to be, and that's like right there. Like what type of trainer you want to be, and it's like how many uh, bases you made. This person made 53 bases, it seems. I'm guessing, because I don't know much about what's going on here. I'm just taking guesses. Anyways, that was the video. I hope you all liked it. Leave a like if you like to. <laughs> and comment down below and see what you to tell me and what you like to see and I'll see you all in the next video see you then